Developing a vaccine is a long road full of checkpoints. Different phases of testing are designed to make sure it is both effective and safe. But with the whole world struggling to contain a pandemic and unprecedented amounts of scientific work taking place, the road to finding the COVID-19 vaccine looks more like this. But first, let's take a look at the usual path. During preclinical trials, the vaccine is tested on animals to determine whether they develop antibodies to the disease-causing germ. If these trials are successful, the candidate vaccine moves on to phase one trials in humans, during which the vaccine is given to a small number of healthy adults to assess its safety in humans. The results of every phase are reviewed by independent clinical experts who assess the research team's findings. Sometimes they'll pause the trials to check the results, always making sure the candidate vaccine is safe. The next phase involves testing a larger group of people to find out the appropriate dose, whether it stimulates an immune response, and of course, to assess its safety. Once the results have been checked by the independent expert observers, the candidate vaccine is evaluated among thousands more volunteers. This phase determines whether it is effective against disease. If the answer is yes, the vaccine is independently assessed by regulators for effectiveness, safety and manufacturing quality. It is also assessed by independent policymakers who determine the best way to use the vaccine. If the assessment meets the regulatory standards, the product can be authorised for use and the vaccine is then ready for licensing and registration. Once that happens, the approved vaccine can be used in the population. But because of the urgent need for a COVID-19 vaccine, some of the phases can run in parallel and the research team can submit a request for temporary authorization from national regulatory authorities and an emergency use listing from WHO. This authorization and WHO emergency listing are only given if the vaccine meets strict safety and effectiveness criteria. But the road doesn't stop there. Once the vaccine is in use, it continues to be monitored by health authorities for safety and for effectiveness to ensure the vaccine maintains the highest standards. The race is on to find vaccines for COVID-19, which is why some phases are happening at the same time. But no one is cutting corners. Everyone is subject to the same checks and independent monitoring. So although we'll get the COVID-19 vaccines faster, they'll be as safe as other approved vaccines.